What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer and we have a very very special episode today. So um, I don't know if maybe you're like a casual console player and you're not aware because you don't stay in the uh, Skull Discord or watch the Skull Twitter. But the devs actually, um, believe it or not, dropped a surprise patch uh, on the 2nd of August and we are now officially in 1.6 of Skull the Hero Slayer. Uh, and ooh, there it is. Um, one of the things they added in this uh, version of the game is they added two new skulls here. And one of them is the mage here, a common fire based um, magic attacker who we're not going to take for now, actually, believe it or not, which might be a little disappointing because you're like new stuff, new stuff. Don't worry, we'll get there. Um, so they added two new skulls. One of them is our boy here, the mage, who I'm going to get around to uh, very soon. But for this episode, I'm thinking I want to be playing the other thing they added to the game, a natural legendary skull who is a physical attacker named Davy Jones, who is a pirate based skull. Uh, that is going to be what I'm going to be wanting to do um, moving forward here. So that's the plan for this run. Get Davy Jones and uh, see how he works. I've played with the Fire Mage off screen. I have not played with Davy Jones. And I really don't know much about it at all. So you'll be getting my 100% authentic um, reactions to Davy Jones. Uh, whereas the Fire Mage, I did a couple of runs with it. And we'll get around to talking about the Fire Mage when that uh, run rolls around. But um, Davy Jones here, if we can get him, because we have to get him in the black market shop. Um, if we can get him, because he doesn't always show up will be a very interesting uh, ordeal to go through together. Ordeal is the wrong word, uh, experience. From what I hear, Davy Jones is pretty freaking good. <laughs> but uh, I'll be the judge of that personally. You know, because it is my YouTube channel. Um, and there's other things they did as well. Um, we'll talk about those once we see them. There's been very significant changes to the game. Like not just the skulls. The skulls are like the big, uh, the big like flashy thing they added to skull but there's so many other little things that they've done to make the game just like very um different i'll say some things i'll get into my opinions on as we come across them i'm not super positive about all of the changes but uh most i think they for the most part they've done a really good job um there's just a couple little nitpicks Hopefully, please, Davy Jones, be in here. Please, 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 please. This is like my fourth attempt at trying to get a run go. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Yes. Yes, it's time. There he is, baby. So let's actually read him. I will buy him real quick, actually. So here we have Davy Jones. Do you fear death? We got an achievement for that. Wow, we did so much there, man. Congratulations to me. I earned that achievement. <laughs> um, so... This skull shoots its cannonballs when attacking with normal attacks. If it doesn't have any more cannonballs, it will melee with its cannon, dealing physical damage. Pressing down plus attack loads two normal cannonballs and casting a skill loads one specific cannonball. Oh, special cannonball, I mean. Loads an enhanced cannonball on the fourth reload. This skull's normal attacks aren't affected by attack speed, but its reload speed increases by 1.2 times its attack speed. Interesting. So let's launch some of these. So we can see our cannonballs there. Oh, I see the special cannonballs. I guess that would be um, my skills, which are lower the anchor. Oh, dude, this is so sick. When this special cannonball explodes, a huge anchor falls at the point of impact dealing physical damage. Enhanced special cannonballs drop a bigger anchor dealing physical damage. This special, okay, and that was, this is bombs away. This special cannonball deals physical damage around the point of its impact. Uh, enhanced special cannonballs are bigger and cause an explosion upon impact dealing physical damage very interesting stuff and his swap is when swapping loads up to two normal kind of up to oh that's interesting so he can load one or zero? Oh no is that real depending on how many cannonballs it has oh okay okay <laughs> just read challenge uh, i'm a big failure at that and increases reload speed until the next fourth reload oh wow that's really good actually Calls down lightning for 10 seconds. Oh, that's where the lightning in the trailer came from. Interesting, interesting. Um, very interesting stuff here. This seems like a very interesting skull. Uh, I'm thinking raw damage is our goal here. Which means we'll just pick that stuff up. 
We already got some decent stuff going here. We have our Minotaur partner here for our Davy Jones's debut. Uh, let's see how. Oh. Okay, we'll just go ahead and launch all of our cannonballs there. Did I do that wrong? Oh wait. Oh, the skills literally just load the cannonballs. Actually, I think that's what what that means. So it's all about having cannonballs. Yeah, and then, okay, that makes sense. Okay, now it makes sense to me. Interesting, interesting. Uh, hang on. People were saying his, like, in-air attack is, like, really good. Maybe it only counts if you have, like, a special cannonball? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to tinker around with his movement a little bit as we go. Pick up the bone shards here. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention it in the shop. I literally didn't mention it because I was just so excited about Davy Jones. Um... In the shop, uh, they added a extra. Um, they added an extra pedestal for the um, for the uh, shop. So now we have four instead of the three we've been used to this whole time, which isn't inherently bad. But they forgot to uh, revert the shop changes in 1.5.2 uh, to what they should be. So what did that do? Oh, interesting. Um, so in my opinion, they honestly kind of, um, they, they, they need to, um, in my opinion at least, revert the, um, they need to revert the shop back to what it was before 1.5.2 uh, 1. Uh, was out because now we have the fourth uh, item pedestal, um, which just like, Shops are way too strong now. Um, let me reload here. They're way too strong. They um, they they need to um, be careful with how much control they give us over being able to get what items we want, because now Fulgent Dawn is like so insanely easy to get. It's oh, does this have this doesn't have tackle dashes? Oh, <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a power skull that doesn't have tackle dashes. <gasps> Oh, it's beautiful. What the fuck are... Wait, oh shit, they can't hit him there. I think the devs are learning, guys. They're learning. They're learning we don't like tackle dashing. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I never thought this day would come. You know, it's been so, it's been so long to be complaining about tackle dashes, and here we are. Um, But yeah, Fulgit Dawn is ridiculously easy to get now. It's too much, in my opinion. Um... Because, like, once we get to Act 2, we're going to be seeing four items every single time we refresh. And just, it gets out of control. Like, just so insane. Um, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm just hoping that they, uh, this isn't a permanent thing. Maybe they forgot. That's my hope. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know what the uh, devs' plan is with, uh, with shops moving forward. Also, I picked that up. I don't know if that's even going to be that good here. We'll see. Um, let me get keep my see. This is like I'm just getting used to new mechanics here. So far, I'm I'm really enjoying this Davy Jones man. Ooh. So how did I make that so big? Is it with uh, in air attacks? I don't know. Let me read his text one more time. On the fourth reload. Okay. So, okay, so now that was the fourth reload. I need to remember that. Um, so now we're at one. Though I'm not going to remember this, guys. I'm, I'm not going to. Like, this is a math skull. Even basic math, bro. What do you think this is, bro? Is this baby learning time at kindergarten? That's bullshit, dog. I don't want to fucking do math. So, odds are, I'm going to forget. You know? But, um, I think both of his skills are pretty strong from what I'm seeing, regardless. Uh, I think the second one, Bombs Away, is better just off of my first impression, but we'll see. The anchor, I love the, the giant anchor, so. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh. oh, dude, we're destroying the Elderant. Which, you know, shocker. It's not like he's exactly hard. Let's get some cannonballs going. Even basic cannonballs, you know? Uh, I think we'll get an enhanced cannonball here. 
Dude, Bombs Away is destroying uh, everything. That is insane, actually. Bombs Away seems very good. Alrighty. Oh, here's the other change. Another huge change they did. Um, we literally never have to pick up Elder Ends Gratitude again. Literally never. Because they added uh, boss chests that give you multiple choices between items. Which, by the way, is really, really strong. Uh, I'm not negative about this change at all because boss chests have always felt really shitty. Um, even like adventurers in act in the act fights, you get like stronger item choices than you do did with boss chests. So this is a very good change. But as you can see here, we already have a piece of fulgent dawn. It's a little ridiculous. We'll take it. I mean, why wouldn't we? <laughs> but um, yeah. Fulgent Dawn is just too easy to get. And that's just like the truth of it. You know, I don't think anyone can really disagree with me. Like, even if you love Fulgent Dawn, even if you, like, think it's, like, cool and sick that you can get it so easily, it's too easy to get, man. And, you know, I, I, I do appreciate good game balance, you know? Like, I'm a game balance enjoyer myself, so... Um, I don't know. It does rub, rub me the wrong way a little bit on a personal level. Uh, but I am, maybe I'm just being a Puritan, but that's how I feel. Just, it's, it, it, sh it shouldn't be so easy, but you know, it's all well and good. Um, that's like the only thing I'm a little iffy on, uh, when it comes to 1.6. Um, and I'm hoping that they change things a bit, you know, uh, it's just, wait, what is up with my cannonballs? Did I lose, did I lose my special cannonballs I had? Cause I had I had special ones loaded in. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, let's load them up right now, I suppose. Uh, this is gonna be good actually, cause he's a bit of a skill spammer himself. Um. Hmm. Oh. Oh shit! We were poorer than I thought. I mean, we could still sell something if we wanted to, but there's nothing here I'm particularly interested in. So let's just move on. Um, uh, let's actually load our cannonballs into your enemies. Uh, actually, maybe that's not a good idea. Because that, that did not seem that good. So maybe he's not as much of a uh, user of that item as I thought he might be. Oh, I'm also starting to see the value of, uh, of load speed, which is not something I was inherently uh, super uh, stoked about. So maybe it's better than I thought. We'll see. Um, so I might start uh, specking into attack speed. Also, like they have the foresight to give um, give uh, Davy Jones some interaction around um, uh, attack speed, even though he doesn't directly interact with it. I hope they kind of do the same for um, for like Alchemist or any other skull that doesn't uh, benefit from attack speed. I feel like they need to do that, you know? Like, to me, it just makes sense. Uh, it's it's just weird how, like, some skulls don't interact with it at all. The lightning is really interesting. It feels kind of, um, out of nowhere, but it's, like, thematically really sick, so I'm for it. It just, um, I feel like it would make more sense if, um, he just loaded uh, cannonballs or something when you swap, but uh, I mean, I'm I'm for it. Like it just like thematically, it's kind of out of nowhere. But so far, Davy Jones seems really sick. Uh, like a real, just a great addition. He's the uh, the equalizer for the natural legendaries because uh, it favored um, it favored. Oh, there was the mage again. It favored um, magic uh, balance skulls for a while. Um, cause three of them were balanced magic and now we have, uh, one speed and, um, one speed and one, um, and two power skulls for the physical attackers. So cool stuff. It's yuck. I, I like balance. Like I was saying earlier, I'm a big, uh, balance enjoyer. So, oh, I'm shocked that he did not die there. Apparently, Davy Jones is a bit of a summoner, so maybe uh, we can look through his... If we find one of the ability change NPCs, we can hopefully uh, have a look through his skills and see what else he has to offer. 
But I'm thinking Bombs Away is probably one of his premier skills. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I get Rapidity off of this, but it's still worth getting it. Because it gives me arms. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Man, we don't have arms? What the fuck? That is shocking, actually. Sorry for the water drinking ASMR. It seems necessary. Um. So, we're cruising with Davy Jones here. Still taking a bit of getting used to. Like, I don't... I keep forgetting to load cannonballs every once in a while. But, uh, I'll get used to Davy Jones the more I play with him. Really need that attack speed going, I feel like. Oh. Gotta also remember his in-air attack. It's a bit, um... Awkward to get used to. Honestly, his, um... His basic cannonballs seem pretty goddamn strong, honestly. Like... Just loading basic cannonball seems pretty good, which is actually a really good thing. You're not so reliant on um, on skill cooldown like I thought he might be at first. So let's just load some basics in here. I really <laughs> low key wish you could uh, use his uh, in air uh, attack more than once when you're in the air. That'd be pretty freaking funny. Oh, oh, maybe that's how I got rid of my uh, my. Uh, special cannonballs that were loaded that one time. Also, I just realized you can like manipulate the um, the amount of uh, times you reloaded. Or no, actually, never mind. It's, it's based on reload amounts. Oh, that's perfect. We'll take this. Which means we can get rid of this. Maybe we could get rid of this. It's not. Yeah, let's get rid of the thieves armor. Actually, it's not doing anything. Could pick up the kindo stick for rapidity. Mmm. Ugh. Wait, we already have rapidity, don't we? No, we don't. Well, in that case... Dude, I am a, I am not a fan of the kendo stick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you know what? No, I'll take the gold incense burner, actually. Money first. Okay, now we'll pick up the kendo stick. Ugh. The reason I don't like the kendo stick is because... um, It's so hard to get rid of the further you get into a run. I can get rid of this. I don't think this is that good on this skull. Um, just because, like, when you when you use your skill, it doesn't actually do anything. The skill is just to reload a cannonball, so it's not quite as useful as uh, it could have been. Or at least as, as I theorized it might be when I first started using this skull. Which also means um, that I think um, the... Uh... Hang on, let me uh, get a deal with this. I think the... Um... This is also on the chop chopping block if I can get a better courage item. This skull is mostly about planning ahead and having like the stuff you uh, need to win already loaded before you get into an area, a, a big fight. So I'm wondering how he'll do against bossing. Uh, it's a good question. We'll see how he does against the Leona sisters, but they're not going to be the real test. The real test, oh shit, whoops. The real test is going to be um, Um, probably Joan, just to see how he does against Joan. Uh, that's going to be like the first real test for Davy Jones. Though he might in particular be bad against Joan. We'll see. He doesn't seem like he'll be that bad against her. Really, honestly, this just seems like a really, really powerful skull. Uh, even when he doesn't have cannonballs in, you can just do this. So, like, if you get in a fight and you can't reload... You're not screwed or anything. The two uh, um, over powered up basics, honestly, like these are like really good too. There's really no aspect of this skull that's bad, or at least so far. We're only in Act Two, so I guess I can't fully uh, form my opinions based on Act Two results. But I'm really enjoying this so far. Let's uh, go ahead and reload here, sir. Thank you. Once more, and we'll get a special cannonball here. So, I'm actually low-key keeping up with it a little better than I thought I would. You know, I'm not always bad at math, just most of the time. Ooh, okay, never mind. What am I saying? This is not the run for Rockstar. Oh, god dang it. I have to get used to that, too. The in-air attack is kind of throwing me off a little bit here. Whoops. Well, actually, that wasn't a whoops moment. That was fine. That was fine. Okay, so let's actually, let's see how this works. I'm going to go, okay, summon those guys and then attack with this. Does it kill them? Yup. 
not quite as big of an area as I thought, but it does work. See, now I'll use the in-air attack on purpose. Aw, oh, dude, David Jones is so good. This is just good stuff here, man. Let's switch out. Do a little Minotaur swap action, you know? Minotaur is here as well, even though yeah, I'm probably not going to be using Minotaur too often here. It is Davy Jones's episode. Shit, actually, that was bad. Alrighty, moving on to the Liana sisters. Let's see how this goes. Um, I'm curious how his bossing is going to be. Uh, I'm not, like, worried about it. I'm just curious how he does against bosses that can handle the, handle their own a little bit better than Yggdrasil. Though not quite much better, to be honest with you. But they are better than Yggdrasil, so I'll give him that. We'll just have to see. Um, you get a cannonball to the face. You get a cannonball to the face. Cannonballs to the face for everyone. I'm going to hold off on using this one here. I'll just reload here. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I fucked up there. Whoops. See, that's something I have to get used to as well. Um, being careful how much I spam the uh, the attack there. I have this bad habit of um, uh, pushing, just kind of spamming keys. Oh, okay. Let's actually reload here. Two special cannonballs there. So I was hoping we would kill one of the Alana sisters in the first phase, but I fucked up and... Um, Prevented myself from doing that, but that's completely on me. It's not on Davy Jones. Uh, he's just going to take a little bit of getting used to for me. But we'll definitely kill one of the Ana here. And here we can just completely freely, without any reservations, load our cannonballs. So I'm going to stand back here and just obliterate her, hopefully. Let's wait for her to come back in. So Davy Jones has the uh, getting... Having... um. To deal with like knockback on from his own attacks debuff <laughs> which as you saw there most of the time isn't a big deal uh, we'll just beat her up with our cannon but um most of the time it doesn't actually matter the only time it comes into play is like in the Leona fight uh and against the chimera otherwise it's oh and also uh joan as well you have to be very careful against joan so we're once again going to get a buffed uh boss chest here oh there's fulgent dawn there it is. I mean, I'd be a fool not to take it. None of this other stuff is really all that good, really. So, yeah, we'll take the Fulgent, but... <sighs> it's just too easy to get. It's just... <laughs> it's so stupid, bro. They did change the, um... The inscription, though, for Sun and Moon. And they added a special interaction if you duplicate your, um... It wanted either your lunar ring or your solar sword you actually get a special item now which honestly the items they added seem better than fulgent on and that is shocking to say just almost unbelievable but uh they're more specialized is the thing fulgent on's like a mixed thing you know whereas these will just flat buff whatever damage type you're focusing for more damage and also um have a special fulgent on like uh attack uh, attached to them as well so yeah they are just very very strong uh but we didn't quite get one here and from what i understand they also added one more special item uh they added a uh a special interaction with the slime if you don't have an item for him to duplicate and uh, i have literally zero idea about what that is so i'm low-key hoping we eventually are able to find the slime and do that we would not do it here though <laughs> selling all of my items to get whatever this slime has would just be so profoundly stupid like i would that would be just insane main of the beast king hmm i don't think so what it has heritage and chase it just doesn't feel like it belongs here i did think about it briefly because this is not a tackle dasher uh, and I'm going to be dashing around enemies a lot. But I just, I don't see it for this run. So I'm looking at Master Fighter a little bit here. But let's build towards Courage. Oh, actually, Mana Eaters could be very, actually, could it? Oh, uh, yeah, I think this is good, actually. Um, where is my other Mana Cycle item? 
I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, yeah, obviously it's the wheel. We can get rid of um, this. That seems right. It's not doing that. I'm, I'm not that worried about getting courage or treasure on this run. Even though it is a pirate run, you know, maybe I should be a little more thematic here, but. Uh, ooh. Well, Nat Legendary's on the pedestal in Act 3 with uh, four pedestals. Just, just 1.6 things. Sadly, it's the Nether Mana Suppressor, so we cannot really make good use of it, but it's there. That's a thing now that is probably going to happen a lot more often than you uh, were previously used to. Also, sorry for wasting that. Just uh, getting used to Davy Jones here. It's going to take a little bit, but, um, you know, we're all we're having fun here. Davy Jones just plays very differently than um, most skulls in the game, which is a good thing. That's how uh, natural legendary should feel, in my opinion. And he just seems so insanely... Because we can just stand back and, like, put, just watch our enemies as we kill them. God, th those um basic uh, enhanced cannonballs are, like, really, really good, dude. Like, almost as good as just the skill, the special cannonballs that you get. Kind of shockingly so. I'm really hoping we find one of the uh, ability to change NPCs here so I can see more what Davy Jones has to offer besides what we see here. Let's let Fulger Dawn deal with those guys. Oh. oh man, dude. So even when I do swap, which I will, I'll definitely swap if we see the ability to change NPC, I'm going to miss bombs away. I think that skill is really good, especially when it's enhanced. Let's try and keep this for the uh, adventure. Oh, never mind. We'll use. We'll definitely use our cannonballs here and not save it for the adventure. We don't want to give the, uh, the NPCs too much time to to use their uh, to summon their friends here. A little unfortunate uh, aiming on my part there, but it's fine. And now we get the special bombs away again. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so we do have a bombs away for the boss coming up here, which is excellent stuff. We even have it in the front. Good stuff. Let's hope it's not the ninja here. It's not, though this guy could be a problem. We're going to fire it here. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. And she's dead. Wow. And he's dead, too. Wow. Good fight, adventurers. <laughs> oh, my God. We're so strong. We do not have a quintessence. I could take this opportunity to get one. I think I will, actually. So the next reload is going to be our special reload. I will try and get bombs away for that. So the Griffin is not exactly the best quintessence. In fact, maybe he's actively bad. He might make it harder for me to hit enemies. Uh, I might use him very sparingly, if ever, to be quite frank with you. I should have maybe thought about that more, but it's not a big deal. Uh, we're, we're just so strong right now, thanks to the power of our um, our, of our friend Davy Jones here, who I'm just going to go ahead and say, I think this is like a top tier skull. Just based off of what I'm seeing here. Also, goddamn, that was really stupid of me. But um, I literally haven't even seen the other two skills on this skull, and I'm already predicting that this guy's going to be top tier. Maybe... I don't want to say like tip tip top tier, but I'm thinking that Davy Jones is very, very, very strong. Also, oops. Takes a little bit of getting used to to play though. Oh yeah, I already uh, propped that. We're not going to take a uh, spirit here. There's no point. Doesn't really help me. Okay, I was about to reload, but then I realized I have two special cannonballs at the front. See, I'm learning. I'm learning slowly but surely. It takes to in my uh, defense, it like you just have to play him to really see how it feels so different. Um, he, he just doesn't feel like any other skull in the game, because just the way you play him. But also, I will say, uh, I, I did say I played the um, the other new skull. It also feels very different from most skulls in the game. They added two very uh, distinct play styles in, with these two new skulls. And I'm actually really uh, happy about that. Um, makes the game feel fresh, you know? Now we have two skulls that you can pick up if you want like a, uh, a different kind of run. Which is always a good thing. Also, look at the spriting on this skull. It's so good, man. Look at that cape. Look at the uh, 
the eye color. It just he also just looks very different from other skulls too. Um, that's not useful. That's sadly not useful. This could be useful, but not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some raw DPS here. Calvary decoration. Ugh. Oh shit, wait a second. Mmm. Is that good? Do we have ins- mm, No. I don't have the inscriptions for it. I'll take this. I'll definitely take this. This gives me treasure bag, actually, which is very good. Fuck you, Kindle Stick. I'm not going to be beholden to this Kindle Stick for the rest of this run. Okay, see, that's my problem with Kindle Stick. It traps you. It freaking traps you, man. Uh, like, because you don't want to get rid of it. The attack speed is very useful. But it only has the attack speed attached to it. So, like, you're always looking at your items. It's like, I want to get rid of Kindle Stick, but the, the attack speed is so good. Like, what am I going to do if I lose my attack speed? And that's how Kindle traps you, gets you stuck with it. And we're not going to let it do that. We're not going to be bullied by Kindle Stick here. So, we're moving on from it. Screw Kindle Stick. Good stuff, man. Bombs away, just as usual. Um. One more enemy here I forgot to kill. Let's see if we can kill him with this. Oh no, Rapidity Sword did it, actually. I'll just take another casual uh, Enhanced Bombs Away, which, by the way, Enhanced Bombs Away is going to destroy the Chimera. The Chimera is going to get obliterated. Like, like it's nobody's business. But we're not going to hold on to that Enhanced Bombs Away just so we have it for the Chimera. We'll, you'll, we'll use it here. It's not hard to get it, so... Just have to remember the next reload is uh, enhanced bombs away. Well, actually, no, I don't because we probably are going to end up using a, another enhanced bombs away before that chimera fight, which, uh, you know, right here actually, we'll use it here. <laughs> God, dude, this skull is so sick, man. This is just what an awesome update. Uh, everyone's been pleading with the devs to put new skulls in the game for a long, long time. And personally, I'll just say it, uh, I did not think they were, I thought they were done with adding new skulls to the game. Because uh, they always advertised it as like, we have a hundred different playable characters, which is a bit of a, uh, bit of a, uh, exaggeration, to say the least. But, um, uh, they actually went against what I expected them to do and added new skulls to the game. So, that makes me happy that we're going to probably still even get yet more. We, we do need more, um. The common pool is all kinds of fucked up. Uh, they need to fix it. That's really the only thing they need to fix here. But uh, it's very important. Like it, they they should not let the uh, common pool stay the way it is as it is now. Um, it has it's just it's so uh, unbalanced. Oh shit! I meant to do bombs away there, but it's fine. We'll just get it for the uh, next area. Aha! Bombs away is on another level, man. So I'm trying to think of all of the ways you could build Davy Jones. I'm not coming up with a lot here. Uh, he seems very de uh, unga bunga de damage focused here. Because um, he can't interact with rapidity. Or actually he probably can interact with rapidity. Uh, I wonder how that works with his cannonballs actually. Because some of his cannonballs are due to uh, special skills. So I'm wondering... Um, if you have Rapidity 4, these are technically his basics. Does it also enhance the uh, power of your skills as well? That's a pretty good question. I wonder what the answer to that is. Also, uh, we might literally just outright kill the Kamehameha here. We, I, it's hard to say. She's especially vulnerable to an attack like Bombs Away. So we'll definitely just have to see how this goes. But uh, something tells me she's about to have a really, really bad time. Okay, so not quite, not even close actually, but still very good damage. We'll get it again. You know, she didn't die to the last one. Well, maybe you'll end up dying to this one, Chimera. Nope. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to uh, focus up a little bit here. I don't want to take unnecessary damage, even though I, I'm not worried about losing. 
There's no reason to be. We're not even close to death here. There we go. Good stuff. Good Chimera fight. Um, not quite as quick as I thought it would be. Maybe we need some more DPS. Um, still very good, though. Also, we have the overpowered uh, boss chest still. One of my favorite additions to the game. Def definitely needed. Uh, like I said, boss chests were just so bad. Now we have, we can pick from any one of these, which, I mean, there's an obvious one that stands out here for going for raw DPS. Although I am a little tempted to take the flame dragon, actually. Let me think on it a little bit. Flame dragon is um, excellent for uh, downtime in between when I'm reloading. You know what? Actually, yeah, I'll take the flame dragon. Sorry, troll fans. Sorry, unga bunga fans. Um... Uh, you know what? Y'all need a bit of a wake-up call, okay? And I, I have to say this every once in a while, and I'll say it here. Uh, quintessences that modify your raw stats are good. Don't get me wrong. They're very good. But they're not the only good quints. I feel like a lot of people get tunnel vision in this game where they, uh, where they solely focus on, like, Orc or Troll or um, Wisp, and they're like, those are the only good quints. Whether or not... Uh, Flame Dragon is a very, very good quint as well. And if you don't believe me, hopefully I show you uh, a little bit differently here. You know, ideally that would be uh, what happens here. Uh, okay, kill those guys for me, thank you. Though I should have actually held off on the Flame Dragon until I got up there. It would have done a lot more. Okay, so I'm at one here. I need to remember this. Um, my reloads for getting bombs away have been off a little bit here, so... Let's remember that and uh, try and get it here. So, yeah, this is bombs away here. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's try and... Oh, okay. Oh, he lived. How the fuck did he live? Holy shit, dude. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Uh, we'll do one more. Though, really, why am I building this Minotaur up? We're not using him. Like, I feel bad for the Minotaur. <laughs> He's just kind of here, you know, he, he's on the Davy Jones run. A little unfortunate for the Minotaur. I, I don't even know if I'll include it in the thumbnail, to be honest. Uh, I guess we'll bring him out here for a second. Like, he's not bad, obviously. He's very good. But, um, it's just like, he's not new. He's not shiny. That's like his problem here. Oh, yeah, the reload speed from swapping is really good. Maybe I should be swapping more. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, shit. There's Hope Slasher. Uh, I still want Mana Cycle, so I'm a little... Actually, we can get rid of the Gold Incense Burner, I think. And also, what's my crit percent? Not good. If I had taken Troll, the Gunpowder Sword would be a good pickup here. But as it stands, I'm not too interested in it. It would have given me Arm 6, but how much do I really care about that? Not too awful much. Oh, well, you know, if you insist, game... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll take a pot of greed, you know? And you're not gonna turn my nose up at it. What do we get? Oh, Mane of the Beast King. Mm -hmm. Not too interested in that, but I, I do want this back, actually. So what can I get rid of here? Where's my Courage at? Two. I think I can get rid of this. Actually, no. I think, I, I think this is the time to get rid of this, actually. I want the raw stats. God, we we are getting there with our unga bunga. We are absolutely getting there. Um, we'll take an item room. Item rooms make sense right now. Moving on to the uh, adventurer here. Let's get our. Ooh, okay. We have literally just special cannonballs here. Pretty good stuff. Uh, though, like I said, the um the basic cannonballs are nothing to like turn your nose up at. They're really good. They would have helped a lot there. I wouldn't have had to waste my uh, bombs away. But we were in a bit of a tight spot there. I had to um, make sure I didn't take stupid damage just waiting to use my bombs away there. So Let's actually get some sp uh, basic cannonballs here. Use bombs away. Man, we are so strong. But I feel like uh, Hope Slasher is maybe actually a little weak on this skull. Because he's a little slow. So maybe it's not uh, quite as good as I thought, but it's still, what the fuck happened there? Fulgidon, thank you. Uh oh, 
Uh-oh. Let's do that. Flame Dragon just showing what it's made of. You know, people gotta stop uh, thinking it's... Like, especially Flame Dragon, you know? Like, some quintessences that don't modify your stats, sure, they're bad. Flame Dragon, though? I I do not know where anyone could get that Flame Dragon is bad. Which, specifically, I, someone said that about Flame Dragon once to me, where I was, like, uh, talking about how much I like it and how good it is. Someone was like, Flame Dragon sucks. And I, that stuck with me, man. People in this game, just for some reason, do not understand quintessences at all. But hopefully people's opinions are changing uh, slowly but surely on quintessences. Hopefully I've changed your mind on a quintessence or two. Because I'm always talking about uh, quintessences I like and don't like. Flame Dragon is just one of the better ones. Uh oh. Ah, uh, the in-air attack fucking me there. It, it really does take some getting used to with the in-air attack. You gotta be very careful. We can just whack things for now with our, uh, with our cannon there. Uh, are these gonna be special? Yes. Give me the- oh shit, we're gonna lose this chest. Damn it. <laughs> I waited way too long there. Oops. Doesn't really matter, but um, really just funny more than anything. Like, I was uh, getting knocked around by the freaking meteors, man. Those things are a pain. Okay, so that was the third reload. Which, little, uh, I, I, I guess I lost count there. I thought that would be the fourth. Let's see how this room goes for us. Man, I really want to see the uh, the different uh, uh, sun and moon items that you can get. Okay, actually, I should swap here. Swap here and fight with Minotaur, and then swap in and use my bombs away when the uh, when the big waves of enemies start spawning in. And we will use it now. Oh shit! Wait, whoops. Uh, that was just a, a force of habit of um, pressing the skill key when I come into a room to uh, fight, you know? Old habits die hard when playing uh, Davy Jones. Okay, let's try and get out of this crowd a little bit here. So we're going to get special cannonballs here, which I'll just take them. I think it's better for what we're dealing with here. One, one dude just standing around uh, just makes sense to... Uh, not wait for the uh for the skills to come online there is this the yeah it is the adventurer so we don't need to uh, activate that fountain we could just wait until the next one very uh, convenient thing about the adventurers you don't have to run around everywhere oh shit here we go uh we got the mage god damn the mage god she sucks so bad we do have flame dragon which will help uh as long as we can get her trapped as you can see, um, it's quite good against her. Also, Bombs Away is going to destroy her here. Actually, uh, she might just die here. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we destroyed her as Davy Jones. Davy Jones actually low-key might be good against the mage. One of the only power skulls that doesn't uh, severely struggle against her. Okay, uh, let's not miss with this. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, mage. Thank you for dying very quickly and easily. Very good stuff. These two are a pretty potent combo together, actually. Hopefully that maybe gave you a little bit of respect for, um... For... Oh, shit. Actually, I need to swap again. Oh, uh, we're gonna lose our special cannonballs now. I was gonna say, hopefully that gave you a little bit of respect for Flame Dragon. Flame Dragon did quite a bit of work against her there. Especially in the early part of the fight. Now we have level, uh, we have legendary Minotaur here. Uh, he's not going to be super used here, but we can use him while he's out. You know, why not? I'm just, one thing I'm super, super grateful for is they did not make Davy Jones a Tackle Dasher. I think that's honestly, like I never, I didn't even see people talking about that uh, in the Discord server. That's like maybe low-key the best thing about Davy Jones. Uh, I'm just immensely not a fan. Oh my god, really? Huh, that's, okay, no, we don't have treasure for, a little unfortunate. Hmm, what do I get rid of here? I suppose I could get rid of this. We don't have rapidity, right? Yeah, we don't have rapidity, let's get rid of that. 
Uh, we weren't using arms five, so pick up the ring there. God, we are so strong, dude. Getting the ring, man? Come on. Just ridiculous. Uh, anchor time. Anchor just absolutely destroying everything. And, okay, that was our third reload. Lost track there because we hadn't been reloading for a while. So I'm actually going to do my best here to... Um, I think, actually, I'm going to load the, the basic cannonballs here. We still got some normal rooms coming up here, so makes sense. Oh, uh, dude, the basic cannonballs are going to obliterate these guys. Uh, Folger Dawn's actually going <laughs> to do the work there for me. You know, I think if I really wanted to now, I could get Fulgent Dawn in every single run. And I mean every single run. Because now all the stuff I've been saying about how uh, the later you get into an act, uh, the harder it is to get Fulgent Dawn. It's not as true as it was. Because um, you can just find so many uh, items now. Like, specific rares uh, are not quite as hard as they used to be to get. Commons are still, though. The later you get in the game, uh, commons are still very, very hard to find. But uh, I would say that this is good game design. Uh, and it is. Like, I'll still say it is good game design. But the issue really comes down to Fulgent Dawn. Fulgent Dawn is, a, is the real problem that makes balancing uh, this game hard now. Because normally, not being able to find specific items the further you get into the game is a bad thing. And it is a bad thing. But now you can find just basically a free win whenever you want with Fulgent Dawn. And that's not good. That's bad. <laughs> it might seem good if you're like someone who likes farming wins and, and streaking, you know, because Fulgent Dawn is free. It's a free win, basically. But um, do you really want the game to be that easy? I can't imagine the answer to that is yes. Because then, like, streaking isn't even special. Like, you're not doing anything impressive. I'm I'm streaking right now. I don't even remember the last time I lost. Actually, no, yeah, I do. Um, it was a run I tried to record off-screen maybe a week ago. But um, I'm on a week-long win streak here. I win all the time. But, you know, if, if the wins are free, they don't really feel all that special, do they? Not to me, at least. So I think Fulgent Dawn needs some serious uh, balancing work getting done on it. Maybe Lunar and Solar need to be turned into um, uniques rather than uh, rares. I think that would go a long way to helping make them feel less cheap. But I feel like I'm the only one who thinks that. And like no one would agree with me on that, which is fine. Most people, I don't think, think these are even problematic items, but they definitely are, in my opinion. So we have 235 uh, HP here. That gets... Man, the only reason I'm keeping these, or these two is because I want the mana cycle. Otherwise, they'd be gone. This is, like, so much DPS here. I'm really thinking about getting rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Super worth. I don't even care, baby. I don't even care. Uh, mana cycle, maybe we can find it again. That's mana tech. It's good. But I don't... Actually, I could just get rid of this then. Where is my activation coming from is the question. I don't think I have any decent activation here. Um, let me try shooting something. That's Fulgent Dawn. That doesn't count. Yeah, I have no activation for this. Unfortunate. But it's fine. Mm -hmm. Just keep looking. So from what I hear, this is pretty good on uh, this character. So let's actually try it. That's Amplification, dude. So... So now, if we're not near our enemies, we're amplifying by 40% uh, our 926 flat. Um, <laughs> oh my god, dog. What is happening? This is insane. We're so strong. We're so fucking strong. 
This is for the first ever Davy Jones video on this channel. We are, it, I, how are we gonna top this in future Davy Jones videos? I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. I should have um, reloaded basic cannonballs there. It's fine though. Anchor away. But I, I seriously don't know how we're gonna, oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's the slime. Oh no. I don't know what's gonna happen here. There's not anything I wanna get rid of here. Like I'd be happy with any one of these getting duped. So let's just go for it. The worst one's gonna be the Giant's Axe, I think, or the Carleon Sword. Oh shit, son. I don't even know what to get rid of though for that. Oh, this just loses me 40% in arms. Is there any better arms to get rid of? No. I think I can stand to part with the with that amount of uh, DPS to amplify further by 40%. And like the uh, distance you need to be to have it activated is not even that bad. See? We only need to be this far away. <laughs> oh no. Cowardly Bowmaster's Bow duped on Davy Jones with this much flat DPS? I am, I don't even know what to say. This is ridiculous. I don't think, this should be illegal. And I mean that. Like this should just flat out not be legal. Uh, yeah, here we are. And I don't even feel the least bit bad either. I don't feel even slightly bad. This is just like the perfect start to uh, 1.6 in my opinion. I couldn't have asked for a better run. This guy's getting on my absolute last nerve, though. He needs to die. I think this is the boss. Yeah. Sir? I'll just swap. I'll swap. I'll swap. I am tired of you. Come here. Get stomped on. Good lord. He just did not want to stop. All right. Joan time. Uh, Joan's going to get obliterated. Like, what can I even say? Like, am I supposed to like play up the tension here no <laughs> oh she's dead she's super dead so let's see how this goes all righty uh yeah as i was saying uh joan is just fucked oh there's a counter you know I, I didn't even notice this down here i think that's the load count <laughs> i've been doing it manually the whole time but i mean i personally can't blame myself for not looking down there because that is like such useless information by and large. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the devs need to do something about, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She, she's getting obliterated. Um, let's see if we can kill her before this attack is over. Shit, okay, that was bad. Oh, okay, let's not be stupid. Okay, okay, Never mind. I, I, I'm not going, I'm, I'm getting out of autopilot. We're disengaging autopilot. We're gonna take it seriously. I'm not gonna lose to Joan. Let's actually get our basics here. Okay, I was getting a little bit cornered there. Oh! Okay, maybe I should swap. Maybe Davy Jones is low-key not good against this first phase. There's too much going on. Uh, he can't keep up with it all. He's not fast enough. Uh, okay, I'll just go ahead and do that. No time wasted here. We no longer have mana cycle, so we have to be aware of that. Oh shit, that's bad. What is she doing here? Okay, let's just hit her with this. Oh shit, maybe maybe he is low-key not great against her here. Um, because his cannonballs go through her and she need they need to hit like a surface. So surprise, surprise. Joan's just another another character that is not good against Joan. Shocker of the century, I know. Because Joan is just such an easy fight on pretty much everyone. But yeah. Another character who I think struggles a bit against Joan, which, like I said, uh, surprise, surprise, shock of the century. Let's remember to use our inner attacks against Joan, actually. I think that's a pretty good uh, rule of thumb here. Makes her easier to hit. Okay, maybe, actually, maybe that's the strategy. Maybe it's not so bad, actually. If I'd thought of that from the start, I don't think we would have struggled there at all. But either way, we're still not struggling even slightly. Like, this is just ridiculously easy. What do we get here? Decent amount of items, but none of them I think are like good. 
So we'll just take whatever gives us the most money. But the most we got here is a unique, so we'll break a unique. It's going to be hard to get me to uh, waver away from any of the build paths I have here in the shop. Like, I'm pretty set on my items, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, I kind of wanted the basics there, but it's not a big deal. Uh, anchor, I don't think will be super useful against these guys. Just always make sure we have ammo. So we're at two here. Um, not th actually, uh, there's not really a point in counting for now because, um, like, only when we get to the first hero, I'll like min max my uh, my uh, my cannon balls and try and make them decent. We don't have very high crit rate, do we? We do have misfortune now. I don't think it's it's still not worth getting this, right? No. Once more. Yeah, if we refresh, we won't be able to buy. So we'll just take the food. Can't take this into the first hero fight, but that's okay. Um, I'll do one of these. And we'll move on. So this is our kit. I'll take a screenshot here. As I always do. Once more. I'm spamming the screenshot button. Game. Thank you. My laptop's just a bit of a uh, crybaby. It's not enjoying the uh, recording session here, but who cares? Get over it, uh, laptop. You'll be fine. So we're at one. Let's remember that. Two, three, four. So now we have our bombs away for the upcoming room. Although it's not going to be that useful in this room. I low-key wish we would have seen one of the uh, ability swap NPCs. But they are very elusive. Uh, not that it matters really because like, I'm very happy with the abilities we have here. As soon as I saw the anchor ability, I wanted to desperately uh, use that ability. It's so cool. So I'm glad I had it. Uh, it seems pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as Bombs Away, but it's still good. And uh, apparently he has some summoning stuff that he can do as well. Which is also something I wanted to see, but sadly, didn't get to on this run. So we're at one here. I need to remember that going into the first hero. That's when it'll matter to the min-max here. We'll just kill this guy with our... Oh! Let's do... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, that's fine, actually. Fuck it. That's fine. That's completely fine. We'll accept it. Uh, first hero might be a little bit hard to uh, completely utilize the Cowardly Bowmaster's bow because he kind of charges all over the place. Either way, I'm not worried about him. We should have a very easy fight here, so let's see how this goes. Should go very well for us. Alrighty. Um, so I do wish I had bombs away uh, charged here, but it's fine. Uh, I'm still not worried about anything that's going to happen here. Let's hit him with a uh, flame dragon, which also, by the way, uh, gets amplified by Cowardly Bowmaster's bow. So always keep that in mind. We're at two, so let's uh, do this. Get away from him. Make sure we don't waste it. And then bombs away. Oh, yes. Good old-fashioned bombs away. Okay, so we have... Uh, we're at three of four. Need to remember that. Uh, I'll just anchor him here. Ah, hell far. We wasted the anchor. Okay, so we're one off. I need to remember that. So what I'm going to try and do here, I'm probably going to swap the Minotaur and um, try and um, bring a Bombs Away into the first half of when he's charging up his attack here. So, oh shit, fuck. Well, that sucks. That's fine though. Um, God, the, the Cannonball uh, on swap thing is actually low-key kind of bad. They need maybe should get rid of that. Uh, shit, yeah, I just wasted a Bombs Away. They need to uh, maybe get rid of the loads on swap thing. The the rapidity, like uh, swap speed, is more than enough for um, our boy here. Like he doesn't need to reload on swap as well, in my opinion. Can we get him? Yes. Oh yeah, we're getting him. All right. 
Get him with the mini bombs away there. Try and get him once again here with bombs away. Actually, uh, I feel like I'm kind of kneecapping myself just waiting for bombs away. So let's just... Let's just hit him here with this. There we go. Good. A very good uh, first hero fight. Though, uh, it's a little hard to keep up with the counter when you're like trying to dodge his attacks. I imagine for new players, that would be like impossible. But for me, it's not that bad. But like I said, new players will probably struggle to keep up with the with this character. Actually, really in general, this just feels like a very advanced character to play. Um, he's very uh, like just unique. How am I going to break this windscreen? It's the real... As always, the... Uh, oh, actually, I can just Minotaur Stomp if I want to. Oh, wait, no, I can't, actually. I didn't charge it. Hmm, so we have to break it with Davy... Actually, yeah, what am I talking about? We have to break the windscreen with Davy Jones here. Oh, he does have an in-air slam. Yeah, because he... If he doesn't have a... Hmm... Let's see. So let's swap into Minotaur, but we're gonna try and get the lightning into the uh, end screen here. And then I'm going to do my best. Oh, I think I did it, I did it, I totally did it. Yes, let's go, that's a fucking good ass wood screen. Look at this shit, dude. Hell yeah, hell yeah, that is so good. I timed it perfectly, I got it back, dude. We're back, we're back, we're back into it. I got my mojo back. Um, for a while there, our windscreens blowed ass, but this one's really good. Uh, I timed the attack perfectly, and we're like near the top of the tower. We've got some lightning obscuring the screen here, makes it a little blurry. And yeah, we're Davy Jones, the new skull. And uh, what a run, dude! What a freaking uh start to Davy Jones. He just seems insane. Like he's very very good. Um. A little hard to use, I would imagine, for new players especially. He is very strong, though, so maybe that offsets it. But you have to keep up with a lot while you're using him. Um, keep up with, like, your reload count and uh, what abilities you have and which ones are the good ones to uh, enhance and which ones are not as good. I would definitely say Bombs Away is better than the Anchors Away one. I, I think it's called Anchors Away. I, I should have paid more attention to that. But the Anchor one is worse than the Bomb one. But it's not bad either. They're both very good, but... Uh, you definitely want to enhance bombs away. Um, and he very much plays around raw DPS, I would say. Like, he's just very good at utilizing raw DPS in like a very, very uh, powerful way. Much more than most skulls out there. Um, he might be good with like gunpowder sword, actually, which sh shocker. Uh, just because he has so many, like, if you use bombs away, you have so many. Uh, attacks happening at once but maybe also not because every other time you're using gunpowder sword he's very slow at attacking so i don't know there's a lot to uh, find out about this guy here still a lot of unknowns um but i will say for sure that he is very very strong like i could say that with certainty that he's great uh and that's really all i have to say about this one holy crap what a start to 1.6 very good update overall minor nit well not mine actually it's pretty bit not even nitpicks it's a pretty big problem the uh, ease that you can get this item it's too much man it needs nerfs it needs big nerfs but aside from that awesome stuff just wow we even got to play around with treasure too like on the pirate run didn't get to treasure four we could have but we would have lost out on some dps but uh, overall, great stuff, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.